wanted to give you a quick update on the nuke box that I brought home from my dad's house on the 5th of August. It's been in my uh, garden for the last two weeks. It's now the 18th of August. Um, on the 14th of August, I had the idea what I wanted to do was adapt a second nuke box, exactly the same as the box that the bees are in, um, to enable me to be able to encourage the bees in the nuke box to move upwards um, into um, a second nuke box space. Bees move up quicker than they move across. Um, so I've got two options. I can either overwinter the bees in this nuke box or I can try to get them into a brood box. I'd like to try to get them into a brood box. The nuke box that these bees are in, when I bought it, um, I bought two at the same time. So I had probably a bit of a harebrained um, scheme. I decided it might be worth trying a bit of an experiment with this second nuke box. So I've kind of adapted it so that it can sit on the nuke box that these bees from dads are in. What I did is I had to, it had a mesh floor, so I've had to take the mesh floor off and I've also had to take off the wooden feet that it stood upon. Um, it was all held together with a bit, you know, some um, glue gun, glue and nails. So that's all come away. I've got the electric sander out and I've sanded down what remained of this glue that was on the wood. Um, now I've still kept all those, I've still kept the mesh floor, I've still got the feet, so I can quite feasibly make it back into a nuke box again. I haven't lost anything here. Um, as far as the entrance to this nuke box concerned, um, I had a little piece of a square about that big of this black felt material that I was told is used in roofing. It's like a roofing material that is porous and allows um, air through for ventilation. So I've stapled a square about that big on the inside of the entrance hole of this nuke box. And as far as the round entrance hole of the nuke box, I found, brilliantly, I found um, a, a wine, a cork, a wine bottle cork that fits in snugly. So what the bees will probably do, because they don't like a draft, they'll probably propolize the felt um, hole up and propolize the felt on the inside um, if I take the cork out. It's a bit complicated to try and explain but hopefully in the video that you'll see you'll see what I'm talking about. <laughs> um, one thing I haven't factored into this and we'll see how we get on is what element of bee space there is between the nuke boxes. Um, we'll just have to wait and see. I find it really difficult to prise the two apart. Um, the other factor involved um, in this nuke box um, I, hair-brained idea of mine is that I've got two frames of capped honey. Uh, they're brood box frames. So what I've decided to do is um, put two frames of brood box honey um, either end in this top nuke box. One of the frames of capped honey had a little bit of wax moth damage to it so I'd put it in the freezer and I'd forgot I'd left it in the freezer. So when I wanted to um, put this nuke box on top of the bees in the garden and put the two frames of honey in, I could only put one frame of honey in. Um, I can't put a frozen frame of honey in a box full of bees. Uh, I've had to wait for it to defrost. So what I figured out is if I got two um, dummy boards, brown dummy boards, and clipped them together with a couple of spacers on the lugs of the dummy boards, those two dummy boards either side are kind of the right length, uh, right width um, in the nuke box. So that when I put this slightly wonky um, fat frame of honey, defrosted honey in, um, it would allow that space um, already there 
um, for it to just sort of hopefully slip in nice and easily. Put a frame of bees from the bottom nuke box up right in the centre and either side of that um, frame of bees I've got just plain old brew box wax foundation either side of it. So I'm hoping that the bees will move up um, encouraged by those two frames of honey. Um, the uh, the queen will move up as well, uh, they'll start to make some wax, she'll start laying eggs and we'll have 10 frames of potential bees to go into an, uh, a brood box for the winter. Anyway, um, here comes the video um, that I shot on the 14th of August putting this nuke box on top of a nuke box full of the bees. Right, so here we are. It's the nuke box here. Okay. It's on top of its. Um, it's on top of its brood box. Let's see what happens. Let's put the sneak back on top. Another frame of honey I've got. Um, um, so I'm going to put that, take the lid off, take that off. See, I fed them last night and they've literally completely demolished that syrup. Just lift, gently lift the coverboard off. Just check for the queen on this, and she's not on here, so I'm just gonna place that lid on there and they can go down inside if they want to. So what I want to do is take the middle frame out, so... Some brood. We've got the queens here. She's still in residence, so that's wonderful. Just going to put that gently down. And then middle frame I want to put into that nuke box into this box so it's checkerboarded empty frame in there next to the frame with the queen on and then finally pop this frame back in going to put this along third and the fourth so. now the moment of truth to see if this is going to fit on top that's your white shouldn't it I 
it along a bit so that it's equaled up and then we're just going to check to see that each frame is aligned correctly with the one underneath which it is we've got a lovely frame of honey here then what we can do is put the crown board back on place the crown board down again. It's a nice hum. Just keep going like that. Looks like I'm gonna have to feed them again but I haven't got any sugar syrup. They ate all that yesterday. Crikey. Um I'm gonna have to make some more. Let me stick the lid on. It's a bit wonky, but I can use a bigger feeder now. So I'll feed them tomorrow night and we'll just, we're gonna have to wrap these girls up because I don't want them to, I don't want them to fall over or get blown about in the wind or anything. And that, that's pretty much it really. See how they get on. They're humming away. Lovely tune. Okay, so one cork top entrance with some felt behind it, stapled in. One frame of bees at the top. Either side of it, we've got foundation. Um, I've got one frame of honey on this side, I think, and double um, two dummy boards. Uh, held together with a couple of spaces on the other side waiting for that frame, extra frame of honey to defrost because it had a little bit of wax moth damage on it underneath we've got one frame, empty frame of foundation right in the centre we've seen the queen, there's cat brood in there she'll eventually move up and the bees I'm going to have to feed the bees now and get some sugar syrup on the go um, so there we are. Let's um let's tidy up. I'm rather pleased about that. <laughs>